The Untold Courage of Saints Cornelius and Cyprian, A Legacy of Faith Today, we honor Saints Cornelius and Cyprian, two significant figures in early Christian history whose courage and mercy shaped the Church during some of its most challenging times. Saint Cornelius Little is known about Cornelius' upbringing or early life. He became the 21st Pope in 251, a time when the Church was facing fierce external persecution and internal division. His papacy, though short, was marked by a profound commitment to mercy and unity within the Church. One of his most notable acts was advocating for the reconciliation of the Lopsi, Christians who had succumbed to the pressure of Roman persecution by sacrificing to pagan gods. Cornelius held that after repentance and public penance, these Christians could be restored to full communion with the church. This was in sharp contrast to Navatian, a priest in Rome, who took a more rigid stance. After Cornelius was elected pope, Navarian set himself up as the first anti-pope, arguing that the church had no authority to forgive those who had lapsed in their faith. In response, Cornelius convened a synod where 60 bishops stood with him, excommunicating Navatian and affirming the church's power to extend mercy. Unfortunately, Cornelius's time as pope coincided with ongoing tensions in the Roman Empire. Although Emperor Decius had died, and persecution had temporarily eased, Cornelius was eventually exiled by Emperor Gallus. In exile, Cornelius suffered under harsh conditions, leading to his death in 253, which the Church considers martyrdom for his faith and leadership. Saint Cyprian Cyprian, born Thasius Cecilius Cyprianus, hailed from a wealthy pagan family in North Africa. He enjoyed a successful career as a lawyer and teacher before converting to Christianity around the age of 46. His conversion was profound. He gave away much of his wealth and embraced a life of prayer and asceticism. Within three years, he had risen through the ranks of the church, eventually becoming the Bishop of Carthage in 249. During his leadership, Cyprian, like Cornelius, faced the Decian persecution, a widespread attempt by Emperor Decius to force Christians to renounce their faith by offering sacrifices to Roman gods. Those who refused were subjected to severe punishments, including imprisonment, torture, and death. Cyprian himself fled into hiding during the persecution, but continued to offer spiritual leadership from afar. One of Cyprian's most significant contributions was his defense of the church's unity and his advocacy for the compassionate treatment of the Lopsi. He was an ardent supporter of Pope Cornelius's approach to reconciliation, even attending the Synod in Rome to support Cornelius in his fight against Novatianism. Cyprian wrote extensively on the importance of the unity of the church, the role of the sacraments, and the significance of Christian charity and almsgiving. Welcome to our channel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. In 257, during a new wave of persecution under Emperor Valerian, Cyprian was arrested. Refusing to renounce his faith, he was tried and ultimately beheaded in Carthage in 258. His final words before his execution, thanks be to God, epitomize his unwavering faith and courage. Cyprian left behind numerous writings that continue to influence Christian thought and practice to this day. Legacy of Courage and Mercy The lives of Saints Cornelius and Cyprian are a testament to the power of faith, mercy, and courage. They lived in a time of great turmoil when the Christian church was under constant threat from external persecution and internal schisms. Yet, through their steadfast leadership and compassion, they helped steer the church through these trials, extending mercy to sinners and preserving the unity of the Christian community. 
Their example teaches us that the path of faith often requires immense courage and an unwavering commitment to forgiveness and reconciliation. Both men understood that the church's role was not only to uphold doctrinal truth, but also to reflect the boundless mercy of Christ, even to those who had faltered in their faith. As we reflect on their legacy, let us strive to embody their courage and mercy in our own lives. Like Cornelius and Cyprian, we are called to offer compassion to those who have strayed, to defend the unity of the church, and to face the challenges of our time with the same steadfast faith that carried them through theirs. Biblical Reflections Saints Cornelius and Cyprian's emphasis on mercy and unity aligns with the teachings of Christ, who said in the Gospel of Matthew, Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy, Matthew 5, 7. Their lives also reflect the command of Jesus in John's Gospel, where he calls for unity among his followers, that they may be one, as we are one, John 17, 22. May we, like these holy saints, strive to live lives of mercy, unity, and unwavering faith, bringing the love of Christ to all those we encounter. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.